DBU's offense erupted for 13 runs yesterday as the Patriots even up the series with the Redbirds. Today, DBU and Illinois State square off with the series on the line on a beautiful Sunday afternoon at Horner Ballpark. Left and the first pitch to Bryce Ball is swung on, lifted towards left, going back down the line is Libman and it's off the wall at the 330 mark, around first and charging for two is Bryce Ball and he's got a stand up double. Bird Walker's pitch, swung on and drilled deep into center field, Ray carrying back and at the track makes the catch. Plenty deep to allow Bryce Ball to score. That is an outstanding at bat by Jimmy Glowinky. 10 pitch at bat and it results in a sack fly. Patriots are on the board. It's now 2-1 Illinois State. A wind the pitch, the curve and a swing and a miss. Zora strikes out. It's back-to-back -back strikeouts for Heaton and the first on the curveball today as he got Zoras to chase it. A 3-1 Redbird lead. The pitch, he got it. Fastball at 91. The 1-0. Ball swings and crushes one to right field. Way back, tie ball game. A no doubter from Bryce Ball, his 10th of the season. And for the fifth time this weekend, the Patriots ensure that Illinois State cannot enforce the shutdown. And they've tied the game at three on the two run blast. Sunday, here comes the 1 0 pitch to Jimmy. He swings and he hammers one to left. Back to back. Jimmy's heating up. Patriots have the lead. In the blink of an eye, it's four to three. At one and one, the pitch. Ground ball sharp to the third. Past the dive of Joe Butler heading towards the corner. Sandman scores. Bandy to second base with his 17th RBI of the season. Who steps in and the first pitch here is hit high in the air to left field. Augie Isaacson giving chase towards the corner, foul territory, reaches up and he made the catch. Did he hold on? He did! He slow plays it down in the corner. Augie Isaacson makes the play and the inning is over. Now Bayless comes home, the delivery, strike three. He struck him out swinging. Hayes is gone the third time today that he's struck out swinging. Do it right now. One and two. Stone's pitch, and he struck him out. A foul tip. Butler strikes out, and there's one out in the sixth inning. Looks to first, the 2-2. Rounded sharply off the mound. Peyton's got it. He caught it on the line was the, the question, and a double play ball if it is. Yes, it is. Double play. What an incredible play by Sherlin on the mound. On a sharp liner that came back to him. A 1-0 pitch, chopper to third, and it eats up Butler. It gets down the left field line. Jones got the green light around third. Glowinki into second base. Patriots now have a 6-3 lead here in the sixth. One-two pitch. One more time from Keckley. Swing and it's on the slider. Joe Butler. Comes up empty and Craig and Keckley retires both that he faces in the ninth. But they had an RPI of 75 and didn't get in. Slider swung on and missed as Keckley has just about everything going right now. There's two down. 7 4 Patriots in the bottom of the eighth. It's really slowed down here. Here's a ground ball into left field for a base hit. Out towards Lindman. The runner is sent. His throw will be cut off. Jackson Glenn adds that all important insurance run. Got a man in scoring position, two on base, only one away, and he swings at the first pitch down the right field line. That's over the first baseman, Butler, and could be extra bases. Glenn will score, Sandman going to second. The throw comes in, and safe at second base is Evan Sandman with a double. The 3-2 pitch is lined into center field for a base hit for Bandy. Bolware will score, Sandman will score. Four runs in in the eighth inning. DBU has an 11-4 lead as they have blown it wide open for the second consecutive day. Or completely polar opposite. Here's a ground ball shot hard. Diving play made by Sosa. Gets to his feet, races to the bag, and gets Ray. A sensational play by Sosa over at first base, and there's one gone on the nine. A one pitch from Trahan. Comes back with a fastball and a ground ball. Skimmer to short. Lewinke's got it. Tosses to second, and that will do it. Patriots take the series this weekend over Illinois State.
11 to 4, our final today, and now DBU's a game within first place in the Valley standings.